If you're like me and you're new to Arduino and electronics and you've just purchased an Arduino protoshield that comes unassembled, it may be hard to find an image of what the finished shield should look like. I'll show you what I did. Rock the beat. Maker. Here's what you'll need a soldering iron, solder, flux paste, and copper or brass wool. This is the Arduino Proto Shield. It comes unassembled, so you'll have to solder the pins on. Here's the kit. A PCB board, female header pins. The nice thing is, they come labeled just like an Arduino Uno. This is a six pin female header. I wanted to make sure that the header pins were straight and in the proper placement. So I decided I would place the header pins inside of the PCB and then plug this into the Arduino board. This would keep the pins straight. Place the pins in the PCB. Now you really can't mess this part up because the pins will only fit on one side. Here's an extra set of header pins. And I'll be honest, this is the part I'm not too sure about. So, I looked at the Arduino, I looked at the ProtoShield, and I just decided to place it this way because it lined up with the pins on the Arduino board. Press everything in until it's snug and everything is lined up. Be careful, these pins can bend. Line everything up with the Arduino Uno. Now place everything upside down. Gravity will hold everything in place. As you can see, the pins on the Arduino Uno are now lined up with the pins on the ProtoShield. Everything is lined up correctly. It's nice and stable. First, apply some flux to everywhere that you will be soldering. Make sure to keep your solder tip clean and shiny. Now solder in the four corners first. Place the soldering tip on the opposite side and the solder in front of that. Try not to put the solder on the soldering tip. Heat the pin with the soldering iron and then place the solder on the opposite side of that. This is not the best soldering job, but hopefully yours comes out better. Now solder the rest of the pins. Try not to leave the soldering iron on the board too long. You might burn it. If you make a mistake, like I did, like putting too much solder, 
use some solder wick. The solder wick will remove excess solder. The solder wick can also completely remove the solder. Be careful. The solder wick gets hot, so don't touch it. Now I use a Q-tip with some 91% isopropyl alcohol to clean up the board. Everything is soldered in place now. Not a bad job for a newbie. Now you can place your proto shield on top of your Arduino Uno and you're ready to start prototyping. You can add additional components to this shield if you like. You could also add shields on top of this shield. The possibilities are endless. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you on the next episode.